Well, hello, everybody. Good afternoon. My name is Eric J. Olson. I am the CEO and co-founder of Array Digital. At Array Digital, we focus on law firm marketing. So we've been doing this for many, many years. We work with a lot of law firms and a lot of different practice areas throughout the United States. And today, what I want to talk about is actually getting free and unlimited potential clients to your website. Now, how can we do that? All right. Well, let's talk about that. There's a couple of different ways that you can get clients to come to your website and express interest in the services that you offer. So I want to go through that. I'm going to keep this at a total of 30 minutes, about 15 to 20 minutes. I want to go through the presentation and then I'm going to open it up for any questions if there are any and I'll answer them live. So let's get started. All right. So unlimited and free. I mean, it sounds too good to be true, right? Let's talk about those two things in particular, though, right? So the two concepts being unlimited and free. And I want to just show you a couple of different options that are out there for you to consider. So first, we've got traditional kinds of advertising. So what I'm showing here is a billboard. And let's talk about, is that unlimited? Like, can you get unlimited people to your website to call you, to contact you? Can you get unlimited interest in your law firm by advertising on a billboard? Well, I mean, I think the answer should be pretty clear. No, because it's only the people that drive by and only actually if they're looking at it when they drive by. And is it free? No, absolutely not. That costs a lot of money and it's pay to play. Your billboard will only be up there as long as you pay. Now, what about something else? Radio. Radio is very similar. There's limited exposure, but it probably will be in your service area. Most law firms operate either at the regional level or at the state level. So you may get effectively unlimited access to everyone in the community if they actually listen to the radio. And there's a big shift when it comes to radio from terrestrial based like broadcast antenna to streaming something like Sirius XM. Is it free? No, not free. Uh, just like with billboards, it is pay to play. Same with TV. TV is very similar in nature to radio from the perspectives that I've talked about, which is that it's pay to play and only the people that are glued to the TV are going to see that. And only if they don't get up during a commercial break, right? Like what do most people do during a commercial break? Well, I don't watch broadcast TV anymore, but when I did, I would do this, right? My phone would be out. So it's not exactly unlimited and it's certainly not free. These are kind of expensive. Now, I'm going to bring you back to or bring you to Google. So with Google, there are 8.5 billion daily searches. Now, that's worldwide. So in your state, your community, it's going to be less, but that's a big number. There's a lot of people searching on Google every single day. So if you think about the population of the world, of the United States, of your state or your region, like there's a lot of people searching on Google. And what you want to do is you want to get into the free section of Google if you can using a technique that I will talk about in just a minute. So Google, my concept is, our concept is that that is, it's practically unlimited. Yes, there's a, there's a limit. There's an upper limit. 8.5 billion is the upper limit per day, every day. That's a lot. I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like unlimited. So, And if you get into the right part of it, it's free. Now, this is what can happen to you if you play your cards right. So this is one of our clients, a divorce law firm in Texas that we started working with maybe up around a year ago. This was one of the more recent reports that we provided to our client to show him how he is doing when it comes to things like the users on his website, the brand new users, and the number of sessions, which is how many times people go to a website and they are on the website until they leave. Huge increases. And a lot of this, actually all of this here is from organic. Organic meaning it's free and it's just increasing by 300% or more every single time we report to them, which is quarterly. And so you can imagine even on a 
monthly, weekly basis, he's seeing big traction. So here's the agenda for today. Let's go through it. Uh, I'm going to show this agenda slide several times. But the first thing we're going to talk about is I, I just want to kind of briefly show you how people find services online. Now, if you are like any normal person these days, you are going to go to Google to find what you're looking for. I go there multiple times every single hour, never mind every day and every week and every month. If I'm looking for something, and frankly, it doesn't matter what it is, I'm going to Google. Now, I'm probably more tech savvy than the typical person because uh, I work in this industry all day, every day, and I'm very used to it and familiar, but 8.5 billion people use Google as a search tool every single day. So they go into Google, they type what they're looking for, something like Family Law San Diego, and they click go, and this is what they get. Now I'll step you through the different parts of the search results in a second. So let's go back actually real quick. So one way that people find you is they will search for you. And that really means Google these days. Yes, there are other search engines, but their market share is minuscule compared to Google. So they search for you or they are interrupted. By interrupted, I mean something like you're on Facebook, you're off the clock and you're trying to relax and you get hit every three or four posts from your friends, you get hit with an ad. That is interruptive in nature they're really not that interested in you. As a matter of fact, they're trying to relax and look at cat memes and bam, they get this ad for a pizza delivery person or maybe a lawyer or maybe something else. Other ways is they will ask others referrals, right? That's really big with law firms. And most law firms think that is the best and only way to get new clients. Now it's certainly very, very good. I'd say it's the best. It's the best lead source. I love referrals just as much as you do, but they're not exactly predictable and who knows what will happen. And most times when people get a referral, think about your own use. Most times when people get a referral, they go double check that referral on the internet to see what the reviews are like, see what the website is like, make sure that the person who gave the referral actually knew what they were talking about. So people double check those referrals. And then another way, there's a lot of ways that, that people look for you, but they get spammed, right? Or they find you, they get spammed. I don't know about you, but I'm sure you're just like me and I probably get 20 pieces of spam every single day. So that's how people find your services. Now, how do you show up? How can you show up in Google? All right, so here's a list of different parts of the search results page. Uh, that's um, also called a SERP, Search Engine Results Page. And there's different components. I want to step you through those components pretty briefly, but to talk about the different places that you can get seen in Google. Again, 8.5 billion visitors every single day. All right, so the same search here, which is Family Lawyer San Diego, and up came these results. Now, just to be clear, none of these are our clients. We don't actually have a client right now in San Diego, but I wanted to use this as the example. So the very first thing here is the sponsored section. So these are Google screened results, also called LSAs, local search uh, ads. And, and this is, it's a sponsor. You see right there where it says sponsored? That's a pretty good clue that it's an ad. So at least Google is good about highlighting what's an ad and what's not. So if you see sponsored, it's pay to play. If this person right here or this person right here or this person right here stops paying, they're not going to get seen. The leads drop to zero and they drop to zero immediately. Next, like just scrolling down here. Next, we have more sponsored content. Now, this is just a search ad. This used to be called AdWords, but Google changed their uh, nomenclature and it's, it's, it's just a search ads, right? So it's, a, it's a, a directed ad. It's not necessarily local, but this particular firm has paid and they paid effectively the most to get their ad shown when people search for this query right here, Family Lawyer San Diego. 
And there's a lot of constraints around it. There's a lot of parameters, but they paid to play. So again, sponsored meaning it's an ad. Now next, if you keep scrolling down, this is the next kind of section that you will see. And this right here are the local search results. Now, this has a sponsored local search result. So this is an ad right here, but it is a local result. And then there's also what we call organic. Organic just means not paid. So these are the organic results as well. And so within local search results, you will have paid and you will have free. Now, before I go to the next slide, if you have a question, then please post it in the comments and I'll see it and I will answer you. But yeah, there's a lot of different sections and, but wait, there's more. All right, so next, well, this is the, the organic and this actually ties into the map. That was organic local. Now here's what we call organic SEO, search engine optimization. So this, typically there are local results in there, but it's not based on the, the map like you saw above. Let me go back. You can see like this is very close in proximity. This organic SEO is from a wider geographic area than just the local search results. And it actually is a completely different technique, a different tactic. So from a digital marketing perspective, the way that we would get you into these organic SEO results is completely different and has a different skill set and different tools that are used to get you here versus getting you here. Two separate tactics. There's a lot of overlap, but there's different techniques. Now, these right here are actually the organic SEO results. These right here are like, there's various terms for it, but this, these can be called snippets or these can be called FAQs, but this is where Google actually has used some of the techniques that we apply in digital marketing. And they said, oh, this is actually very good, common, uh, commonly asked questions. And they will put it here and they'll show just kind of like here in these results, they'll show a snippet uh, once you expand. You definitely would like to get up here. You would definitely like to be on page one. I mean, but the, the people also ask section, very, very good for leads. If you are in positions one, two, or three on the first page of organic SEO, you're printing money at that point. That is a good place to be and it is not easy to get into. And it often takes a long time to get in there. And I will talk about the pros and cons of advertising in Google versus the organic play in just a moment. All right, so that's how you show up in Google. Those are the different areas. Now, what are the pros and cons of ads? We'll talk about that first, then I'll go into the pros and cons of SEO. All right, so, by the way, we do advertising here, we do SEO here, we're a proponent of both and they serve different purposes and in particular at different times of a maturity life cycle of uh, a law firm advertising. So there's a time and a place for both of these. Now, what we're going to talk about in particular here, in the next couple of slides is SEO in particular. But I do want to talk about ads just quickly because there are reasons to use ads to, to buy ads. So pros. You can very quickly get shown in Google. So again, it's pay to play. Now, if you pay enough by bidding high enough, you'll get shown right away. Google will love you until you lower your bid or you stop paying, but they will love you a long time as long as you pay and pay as much as the market will bear. Now, you will drive tra traffic to your website I would say the jury is out on the quality of those leads compared to organic. Now, some of our clients get really good results. Other clients, mm, not so much with advertising. Overall, my opinion is that the quality of leads are much better actually from organic search results than advertising. But you will drive traffic to your website. And this is targeted traffic. All of this, by the way, is all targeted. 
because someone's searching for a term that you either buy an ad for or your content in your website addresses. Now, if you get to the point where you're doing enough advertising, you have enough of a budget and you have a good enough service and you have good positioning in the marketplace and good branding, you can use advertising as a lever that you can pull to drive more business to your firm or lower the business. And there could be reasons that you want to lower at any given time. Like let's say it's August and everyone wants to take off for the month. You could actually say, Hey, advertising agency, Ray digital, uh, can you lower that? Like cut my budget in half for a month and then come back and say September and you can double down on it if you want. So it's a leverage. And if you do this long enough and you're good enough, then you could actually predict if I put an extra dollar in, what does that mean for my business? Now, here's the cons. You've heard me say this a couple times already. The cons to advertising is it's pay to play. So if you don't pay enough or you decide that you want to stop paying, you won't play. They will not show your ad. It's game over. Now, this is interesting. The second stat is that only 3% of people actually click on an ad. Isn't that interesting? Do you remember like when I showed you how people find you in Google, the very first top part was sponsored ads? Well, that's at the very top. And it's the same on your phone. People take the extra effort to skip over the ads and go down to the organic results and everything besides the ads. Why is that? Why would why would ninety seven percent of people do that? That that's a big big difference. So, and then if you're not watching your advertising, like it's very easy to set up. By the way, like anyone can go set it up and put a credit card on file with Google. But if you do not know how to advertise, you are going to be wasting a lot of money and spending will get out of hand quickly. And then the last thing is that it's since it's easy because you just have to put a credit card on file. It's relatively easy to get up and running. It's a red ocean strategy, meaning like you're fighting to the death. And when it comes to law firms, you could be paying 50, 75, 100, $150 or more per click, not per lead, per click. You can get very expensive, very quick. So let's talk about SEO. I talked about advertising. What's the pros and cons of SEO? So 97% of people skip the ads. They want to see the organic search results. I can give you a bunch of reasons why I think that is. But the fact is, they skip the ads and they go to the organic SEO. I'd rather play in that department personally. Now, it's an investment, not an expense. And what I mean by that is, is every time you make a payment towards SEO, you are building more and more SEO value. It increases one on top of another. It's like financial investing. When you start with a mutual fund, you're putting money in and you don't really see a difference. But when you look at it over time, it's really compounding. It does compound over time. And then also like just worst case scenario, if you're like, hey, Eric, stop my SEO. I don't want to I don't want to spend any money for you guys to do my SEO your SEO value will hover for a while. Now it will eventually start to degrade as you're not updating the website, as your competitors overtake you, things like that. But you're getting in front of 97% of the 8.5 billion people who search on Google every single day. Unlimited, and every time they click, it's free. Remember with advertising? $50, $75, $100, $150. Now with SEO, they click, they come to your site completely free. It does require an investment though, to get into a position to get those unlimited and free clicks. Here's the cons. It's a long play. It's gonna take a while. We tell our clients, look, six to 18 months. So you won't feel the results as far as the form submissions coming in, the phone calls coming in until about six, probably more like 12 to 18 months. So it's an investment and it's an investment of time because you have to create a lot of content. Now we have a couple different content programs here. Most of our clients prefer that we come up with the strategy, do the research 
and write it. But we ask our clients, we actually kind of require our clients to review that content before it goes live because this is legal content and we want to make sure that you confirm it because you're the expert when it comes to the legal portions of that content and we're the experts when it comes to the SEO portions. So it does require expertise in SEO. You can't just write about whatever you think is interesting because who knows if anyone's even searching for it. All right. Last, what to expect from SEO? Like what kind of results are we talking about here? So these are real charts pulled recently from real clients. So here is a PI law firm in Michigan. And you can see that it started, eh, what's this? Uh, it's, it's covered up, it's hard to see, but it looks like about 2020. And they were at about 350 organic views. And now they're at 1400. But look at this chart. It's up and to the right. This is a PI law firm in Michigan. Now, here's another one. This is the organic keywords. This is how many of those queries that people are searching for, they're showing up for on either positions one through three, the, the very best, or four through 10. Huge increases very quickly. Like I'm gonna point out here, this is May of 2023. That is not long ago. It's July 26 right now when I record this. So what's that? Two months, two months ago, huge increases by about mm, a factor of four, five, not too shabby. Would you like to be in this position? A business law firm in California. Now you can see their chart when it comes to organic traffic was pretty flat and low. And then bam, they took off all the work that we did for them starting right around here. It just finally kicked in and they are off to the races. They're amazing results. And here is a divorce law firm in Virginia. Long, steady growth all the way up. So you can see this works for divorce. This works for business. This works for PI. And we cover all of those different practice areas. Really good returns. And our clients are definitely feeling it in a very good way. Here's a couple more charts, a lot of up and to the rights. And this is what you want out of your marketing. Now, are we a fit for you? Is a read digital even a fit? Like if you want these kinds of results, let me go back to the charts again, up and to the right, up and to the right, up and to the right. If you would like these kind of results and you're interested in partnering with us in particular, a read digital, again, we focus on nothing but law firm digital marketing across the United States, all practice areas. This is what would be a good fit for us, most law firms, most of the time. You're around a million dollars in revenue or more. And because this is an investment, this is not an insignificant monthly investment and there's projects sometimes involved. And so you know, it's, it could be difficult. Now we do have solo practitioners but they've accumulated enough of a war chest where they can afford this. But generally speaking, a million dollars and up is a good sweet spot for us to start with. And you're ready to invest $5,000 or more per month because this stuff, you know, like you're competing, you're competing. Think about all the law firms just in your area, never mind your region and your state. And if you practice beyond your state, think about all the law firms and the competition that's out there. You're looking at about $5,000 minimum to start. Now we do have clients that are less than that, but that's a good rule of thumb. And you need to be prepared to handle growth. Look at these charts again. This, this results in form submissions, phone calls, leads, and cases. Now, if you're interested in this, we do have an assessment. If you were to do this as a standalone, we provide so much value with all these different things that I'm showing here. We would charge $4,000, but we don't do that. If you sign up for an assessment, you can go to our website at thisisarray.com and you can sign up for that, then you will get this for free. So actually it's thisisarray.com or down here you can see arraydigital.com. So at this point, I don't think there's gonna be any questions. Well, actually, no, I see one here. Uh, so Kevin asks, how long can SEO take? All right, that's a great question. You may have asked that before I showed it on the one of the previous slides. Like it, it can be, it can be quick, like you can start to feel the effect right away. But the reality is you won't start getting those calls and leads until six to 18 months after you start a professional 
SVO program. Now, before then, before the six to 18 months, when you feel it, we will see your metrics. We'll see your metrics every single week, getting better and better and better. And we will see things like your keywords going from page 17, it'll pop into Google all of a sudden. We'll see that you just made page 17, which no one clicks on page 17, right? But you'll start off at page 17, and then we'll improve the content. We'll improve some other parts of your website. We'll get you a backlink. And you go from 17 to 13, from 13 to 12. Next week, you're at 10. The week after that, you're at 8. And then you're at page 3 before you know it. And then page 2, and wow, actually, someone submitted the contact us form. That's awesome. Now, from page 2 to page 1, it, it's a big lift. It's a lot of effort. And what we see a lot of times is that you'll go from page 2 to page 1, back down to page 2 up to page one, back down to page two. And then you get up on page one and you'll stay on page one pretty securely. And then we continue to work on your SEO and get you climbing through the rankings on page one, but from the bottom to the top. All right, next question here. Can I help create content if I had you doing my SEO? That is an excellent question. So yes, Absolutely, there are programs for that. So we have a couple of different content programs here. Uh, look, first, if you really, really want to try to do it yourself, you can you can do it yourself. And right? you can write your own content. Uh, we can either post it for you or we can give you access. What we've seen in the past are a couple of problems with that. One is that it sounds nice in theory. For a uh, an attorney to uh, to sit down and put their thoughts out on paper and think about uh, how this would help their clients, this content they're about to write, and a lot of lawyers love to write, um, but you may not understand SEO, you may not have done any research, you may not you may not know what's, what what to write about at all. So that that's option one. Option two is we can give you what we call a brief. Now, a brief is a strategy and a document that outlines exactly what you should write about for every single piece, article or blog post or practice area page that is going to be created. So we literally create a strategy document for every single piece based on research, your objectives, what the market is telling us to do and what your competitors are doing to try to get people from organic SEO search results to their site and we can one up them with our strategy. We'll tell you exactly how many words to write, which keywords, primary, secondary, tertiary, sometimes what keywords to write about. And we can give you those exact instructions through a strategy document and then you or your attorneys can then write it or you can outsource it to someone else if you want. Now, the third option is that we just take care of everything. We do it all for you. So we'll come up with the research, we'll come up with that brief and we will actually do the writing for you all in house. And then we will provide it to you for review. And that's where we would like you to come in and say, Ooh, you guys, um, you guys aren't lawyers, so like you, you probably didn't know this about the Florida law. And let me just make some corrections or add some comments here. And you'll make it legally perfect, whereas we will take care of all the SEO. We will do our legal research and we'll get it good, really good. But the finishing touches should come from you. So those are the three options. Do it yourself completely. Done with you where we do the research and strategy. And done for you where we take care of everything. We just ask you to review. All right, you know what? I don't see any other questions. This was our first webinar. I hope it was a good experience for you. I was a little nervous to be honest with you because it's the first time that we're doing it and who knows if this will go well or not. Now we are going to continue to do these every single month. Now, if you are interested, you can sign up for our newsletter and we will send you updates before the next webinar so you can sign up. You can also go to thisisarray.com slash webinar, and you can find the next webinar that's going to be scheduled in August. That's not ready right now if you go today on July 26th, but if you come across this webinar later, it'll be ready for you. So I hope that was helpful. 
And again, if you are interested in a free assessment, if you want to take advantage of unlimited leads, if you want to take advantage of free leads from Google, I want to really stress to you to consider organic SEO and to reach out to us at ArrayDigital.com and schedule your free strategy session and assessment now. And we will tell you exactly what it's going to take to beat your competitors, to grow your law firm, make more revenue, hire more people, and best of all, help more clients. Thanks for joining us. I'm Eric J. Olson from Array Digital, and I will see you next month at our webinar.